Right. So I just wanted to make a quick video about a lighting kit uh, that I installed on my YZ 2014 YZ250F. So it's not the FX, it's my YZ. And I was able to install an LED light kit. I'll put the link in the description below. So first I'm gonna kill it so you can hear me talk. So what I understood is these bikes have uh, up to 45 watts capacity, uh, DC, 12 volt capacity, up to 45 watts from the standard stator. So you could put an LED light kit on it. The way I did it is there are various kits that you can buy online. They cost about like 140, 50 bucks. The way I did it is I bought a Baja Designs uh, wiring harness. It cost me like $32 or something. And once the Baja De Designs wiring harness was installed, then um, the end connector uh, of it, um, I didn't buy the light from Baja Designs. So I just used the connector and I just bought some um, basic LED lighting, 30 watts lighting. Uh, this is something called Nylite or something. You can get any brand, doesn't matter. Uh, make sure you don't put like a huge uh, light on it. You know, you don't want to draw a lot of watt wattage. Um, so the way the, the circuitry works is under the seat here, there's a capacitor. And um, the capacitor has a terminal. And what can be done is the wiring harness connects into the terminal. So wiring harness has two, two connectors, male and female. So basically you're inserting the wiring harness between that coupler. So it has a male and a female. So then the wiring harness is routed underneath the, the fuel tank all the way to the front. And once you have it, uh, the wiring harness already comes with a uh, on off switch. Okay. And then it has like a coupler and using that coupler or snipping it off and just uh, using your own uh, uh, soldering and whatever or you can just buy uh, a light kit that has the same coupler that comes with the wiring harness it's up to you but I decided to snip it and uh, yeah so I snipped off the end of the coupler and I attached the the leads of the wire so one thing I haven't done is install like a a safety fuse which I'm planning to so I'm gonna buy like a 10 amp fuse and uh, put it in series so if something happens to the light something short circuits it's not gonna fry my ECU or anything like that so you you're supposed to put a fuse in between um, so I'm gonna order that put it on and this is just some basic uh, 30 watt lighting I also ordered like they the same company I think sells also the, um, the whatever you want to call it clamp and with that you can just attach and it has pretty pretty decent light you know and who would have thought that the standard stator has all this capacity so there you go it's uh, very simple anybody could do it if I could do it I'm not really good with electricals that's the uh, wiring that goes underneath I can tuck it in even more so basically it's all under the seat you don't have to like um, do anything crazy just unplug the standard coupler plug these in between and that's like a bypass route all the wiring and it comes to the front under the frame and basically they give you the wiring harness comes with um, the switch all you got to do is in, buy whatever light you want to buy and just put it on so I think with that in mind you could have even put like a pan kit on it as long as the wattage stays under uh, 45 watts so this is a 30 watt lighting so if you want to do a fan you could do the same method so you could um, the same wiring this wiring instead of the light you would connect to a fan as long as it stays under 45 watts I think you're good so so yeah it works really really well actually so I'm very, very, very pleased. So, yeah.